The Sword and Shield era is over. We are on to the Scarlet and the Violet era of Pokemon cards. In today's video, we are gonna be opening up a booster box of Scarlet EX as well as a booster box of the Violet EX from Japan. This is the first set in the new Scarlet and Violet era. We are gonna start off with the Scarlet box. Let's get this open. Each one of these booster boxes comes with, I still believe it's 30 packs. This is my first time opening this. I have seen a few people open this, but I know very, very little about the Scarlet and the Violet era. I haven't played the games, so there's gonna be a lot of new Pokemon that I don't know. Yeah, the chase cards for these sets for Scarlet and Violet are the Gyarados and the Arcanine. There is also a Full Art Miriam in the Violet set that right now is like a $500 card. I don't know if it's gonna stay that way, but if we can manage to pull that, that would be pretty crazy. As Arcanine is my favorite Pokemon of all time. Oh, wow. They changed the way that the box is open. There is now a... Oh, that's kind of nice. I do actually remember seeing that before. I just haven't opened up a box yet. But here we go. Here are the 30 packs. I don't know how many EX cards you are guaranteed. I don't know if there's a guaranteed hollow in these packs. I really don't know. Like I said, I'm coming in with almost no knowledge of the... <gasps> Lichong, let's go! Let's actually go. I'm so stoked. Literally first pack Lichong. So happy with that. We got the <laughs> Riolu. I'm not gonna know, okay, so no guaranteed hollow. I'm not gonna know the trainers, and there's gonna be a lot of new Pokemon that I don't know, but I do recognize the Lechonk, that is awesome. I am keeping that for sure. Pack number two, okay, you get a Lechonk in every pack. <laughs> this is like Olive or Smolive or something like that, which is our first hollow. Let's actually take a look at the hollows. They look very similar to the Sword and Shield era, maybe a little bit glossier, but your typical hollow. This video might be a little bit longer, uh, then my average pre-recorded videos. Uh, so let me know guys if you like the longer versions of these videos. This one I'm guessing is going to be somewhere around the 20 minute mark. It might even be a little bit longer. I don't know. But uh, when we get a new set in our hands, we have to open the new set. I mean, you can't not open the new set. And this isn't just a new set. This is a new era. This is an entirely new era. It's going to feel familiar, Ooh, especially with that Metatite. We got our Wiglet. There's our first Wiglet. Still looking for our first hit. <gasps> there it is, the Toxicroak, our first EX. Oh, the new EXs almost look like Hollow Bleeds from the XY era. They have like those stars all over the card. So much shine, so much sheen. The silver borders really do just make the card that much more vibrant. And in person, guys, I can tell you, these cards look really good. I'm excited to see the textured ones. We should be guaranteed a single secret rare. Maybe we're guaranteed a little bit more than that in a box, but really good start. We're just a few packs in. We got our first EX card. The new era is underway. It's officially here. It is sad that Sword and Shield is gone. Oh, our second late chunk card. It's a different artwork. I love it. All right, there is the cave woman. <laughs> I don't know her name, but she she's a cave woman. I like that there's two different artworks for the Lei Chunk. I hope that you guys had the opportunity to grab the Scarlet and Violet ETB pre-orders on the Pokemon Center website. They did come with a Lei Chunk promo, which I actually I didn't get it. I didn't grab it in time. I did miss out. So hopefully I can grab one of those promos on eBay or something like that for my personal collection. Nice. OK, so I believe this is the is this Coridon or Maridon? All right, so yeah, this is Coridon. This is Coridon. It looks so vibrant, so stunning. This is, in my opinion, an upgrade from the V era. I think the standard ultra rares just look better. I don't think it's necessarily going to be worth more or it's going to be any cooler. This like no matter what you do, an ultra rare is an ultra rare, but these do look nicer. I think they'll pop more in binders. I just I, I like the direction that Pokemon's moving in. If you guys have opened up this set, I'm assuming by now a few people have seen it. I'm getting these boxes about four or five days after the official release in Japan. So I'm definitely not the first person to cover this, but it is still really fun to open up these sets, see what the boxes look like, get an idea for the hit rates, just get my eyes on these new Pokemon. Like, wow, look at that. Like, what is that? I can't even tell what's happening. Is that its tongue above its eye? I, I just I truly have no idea. I'm sure once I see the Pokemon a lot more, I will start to like them more and I'll learn their names, learn to like my favorites. If you guys have a favorite new Gen 9 Pokemon, let me know. Maybe Gen 9 will finally give us new evolutions. Not yet, but may maybe they will. The Arcanine and the Gyarados in each set, they are the terrestrialized versions. There's another Lechonk. 
Ooh, we got a Riolu. All right, so these are the illustration, or no, they're art rares, just like in the Sword and Shield era. And I did see these cards where there's a couple of them where you kind of see the evolution line and it tells a story. I will say that the colors are way more vibrant on these. I don't know if it's just this card than in the Sword and Shield era. Sword and Shield era was a little bit more muted and the borders here, they aren't like that perfect light gray. They almost have a little bit darker tint to them. I could be wrong. It might just be because the cover is so much more vibrant or the color is so much more vibrant, but it looks like he was uh, he was working out and absolutely tore it up in his workout. Yeah, we're not even halfway through this box yet and we've got a few hits and I so far, I mean, I like them still really hard to tell. It's a little bit too early. Seeing some familiar Pokemon and some brand new Pokemon at the same time. There's the muck. Really excited to see what the English TCG of this looks like. Uh, we do know that we are moving on from the basically like dud packs. Uh, hollows, I mean, hollows have never been like amazing since like, you know, the XY era, basically. Uh, you know, hollows are barely better than non hollows. But in the English TCG, I think we're going to be getting like three hollows in a box. And I think that in, or in a pack, I'm sorry. And I think that includes the reverse hollow. So you're either going to get like two hollows in a reverse or you're going to get, you know, two hollows in an ultra rare. I don't really know yet exactly what that's going to be, what that's going to feel like, you know, if it's just I don't know. Ooh, that is stunning. Got to tell you guys, I do think this is an improvement. I think the clarity and the vibrance of these is different than the Sword and Shield era. I don't know what it is if they're using a different gloss layer on these art rares. They do just look better. It's a little bit better. They just pop more, a little bit easier to see. Yeah, I'm nervous, but at the same time, I'm excited for the Scarlet and Violet era. I really am. And this is like, I don't know. It was the same thing with the Sword and Shield era. You can't get too excited because things are going to change. I think very quickly, you know, it'll take about a year or so that, you know, the base set and like the really early sets might become, you know, less desirable because they're going to come up with some new idea. A lot of people have been talking about the possibility for terrestrial Pokemon to have different types, very similar to a Delta species. So we could see like a water type Charizard or something like that. Different takes on Pokemon that we're familiar with, which is really cool. Uh, one thing that I predicted. Oh, my goodness. That is so stunning. The Gardevoir EX. That is absolutely stunning. That is not a secret rare. This is just a standard ultra rare. But man, that is beautiful Gardevoir. Absolutely beautiful. What was I talking about? I completely forgot what I was talking about. Every time I open up packs, like I try to think of like things to talk about and I just kind of talk about whatever comes to my mind. But it's so easy to get distracted with shiny cardboard. Oh, one thing that I <laughs> one thing that I was predicting is the possibility since this we are in the lowercase EX era again. And that was the era of gold stars. It's possible that we could be seeing alternate art gold stars in the future. If you guys, if, if this, this does come to fruition in a year from now, you know, we get a set with our first gold star and then there's alternate art gold stars. Heard it here first, guys. Heard it here first. Nice. So this is something Tusk, like Great Tusk. I forget it. This is our third EX already, or fourth EX, third EX. And they look really good, man. They look really good. I think, I think I heard somewhere you get four EXs in a box. I could be wrong, but we have three already. We are coming down to the last five or six packs in this box, though, which, uh, you know, it happens quick. You can burn through 30 packs really quickly, especially when there are a handful of them that are like that, where there are no hollows in them. Really nice colors on the EXs, though. They they really do stand out and the art rares, too. I think we're going to get one more art rare and we should still have a secret rare that we're going to get unless I missed one of them as the secret rare. But we will see. Got three packs left. They're going to have to be in the last three packs as we have this weird little guy, a Dedenne, a Go-Go. Oh my gosh, that is stunning. What? This is a Wizcash, right? Yeah, an upside down Wizcash. Look at that artwork. I'm telling you guys, the detail and the vibrance on these cards. I mean, the art rares were really good in, you know, V-Star Universe, but these are just they're just different. They just punch more. They like they feel like they look better. I could be wrong. They might be the exact same. It might be some sort of, you know, just new stuff bias, but that looks amazing. That is absolutely stunning. Two packs remain. What are we going to get here? All right, so there's nothing. <sighs> Last pack secret rare. I might have missed something if we didn't get a secret rare. I might have missed something. 
is we have a Sanaconda, a Smoliv. Ooh, it is our secret rare. It's the Toxic Croak. I think this is one of the worst secret rares you can actually get. That is pretty cool. I do like the texture. I really like the texture. It seems pretty basic. It's your basic full art. I like the EX better than the V. Not blown away by this secret rare, but I think it's just a bad pull. Okay, so we got one. Oh, got a light chunk. Got to count that as a hit. In the first box of Scarlet, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hollows. We got three of the art rares. I think that Wizcash is definitely my favorite. That is stunning. Uh, we got four regular EXs with the Toxicroak, the Maridon, the Gardevoir, and the something Tusk, Great Tusk or something like that. The Gardevoir is definitely my favorite. It is really, really beautiful. I think the Psychic types really stand out in the EX cards. And then our secret rare of the box was the Toxicroak again. Not super, super pumped about this hit, but at the same time, not bad. Hold up, guys. We are giving away 10 packs of each set. So for a chance to win 10 packs for each set, all you guys got to do is like this video, subscribe to the channel, make sure that that bell is on, and comment down below which of these two sets is your favorite. Okay, moving on to Violet. This is the opportunity to pull that RK9 and the Miriam. So one of those two cards and... Tell you what, I am stoked, I am stoked. I have had very good luck recently with like pulling my chase card in whatever the new set is, like super quickly. Uh, with I didn't get the Leafeon out of V-Star or Crown Zenith, but I've done very well on both of those sets. But I would love the Miriam or the RK9 out of these boxes, or out of this box. But we're gonna see what we should see. Four more EXs, three more Art Rares, and a Secret Rare out of this box. I think that's... Right off the bat, let's go! That's huge, it's not a secret rare. But that is the terrestrialized RK9 EX. Dang, that is stunning, guys. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> what did I tell ya? I just gotta talk about what my chase cards are. Talk about the fact that we pull them when we want them and then pull it when we want it. Wow, that was fast. Wow, that looks so good, too. Yeah, I don't want to overhype this because this is my favorite Pokemon of all time, so it makes the pull that much sweeter. But guys, this looks phenomenal. That really punches and stands out. The texture looks great. It looks better than the regular EXs by a lot, by a lot. Wow, that is sick. Let's go. The rest of this box is kind of bonus for me. Cannot believe we got the Terrestrialized Arcanine that easily. I'm assuming because there's only a handful of EXs available in each set and you're going to get four EXs in a box, you know, it'll probably take two or three boxes for most people to pull the terrestrialized EXs. I could be wrong, but honestly, that's not that bad for a chase card. So our secret rare sucked in both of these boxes. We got Spider-Man. <laughs> I don't know what this card is, but it's not a great looking Secret rare. Like, that's always been my biggest gripe with the Japanese boxes. Is that yes, you're guaranteed a secret rare, but their full arts are considered secret rares, and it's just a massive disappointment when this is the best card in your box. But I'm looking forward to seeing the new EXs and the new art rares. Dang, back to back. We got first two packs terrestrialized, and then the second one was a secret rare. I know in some of the sets, you can pull, like, every once in a while, you can pull two secret rares, especially if one of them is a trainer. So maybe we can still get that Miriam. Maybe we can still get it. I'll hold out hope. You never know. Lots of new Pokemon. Love the Growlithe. The Toxtricity looks good. So does the Hypno. The artwork is incredible. I am a little disappointed with the full arts, though. I am not going to lie to you guys. But that that's just... That's just, uh, that's just luck. Oh my gosh. What? Why is this Slowbro so sick? That is actually a really sick hollow. I did not expect to be caught off guard. That Slowbro Hollow is better than whatever this Spider-Man EX is. <laughs> that, was, that really caught me off guard. That is a great design for a Hollow card. We got a Mankey. We got a little, little bear. We got Houndour. There is the Maridon. So we got the Coridon and the Maridon in our first boxes. Oh, are they supposed to be like that? All right, so looking at these cards. Oh, that is bizarre. I didn't notice that before. But you can see Maridon's legs like semi transparent through like the text portion of the card, which is really cool. And yeah, it's that way on every single one of the EX cards. It just took this one because the contrast of the colors is so obvious. 
That's really cool. That's a nice little bonus added effect. And I don't know if my brain just had never seen these on EX cards before, or if this is brand new, but that's really cool. I like that. So yeah, the Coridon and Maridon are the new legendaries. They're the equivalent of like a Zacian or a Zamazenta. They're kind of like the generation mascots, which are pretty cool. I thought the idea of like the past versus future too, I think there's a lot of potential to do like, you know, different versions of Pokemon that we are familiar with. Kind of like, ooh, that looks sick. That's like a, that's one lit dog. I don't know what its name is, but I like the artwork really nice there. But yeah, they could do like a, a past or future version of, you know, like an RK9 or, you know, Pokemon that we're really familiar with. And it's kind of like the regional variants that we've seen with like Galarian, Alolan, you know, Hisuian, etc. I think there's a lot of potential with past and future forms. We got the puppy again. So much potential. Uh, I think Pokemon is kind of on the right track. I think it was the right track to start with variants of Pokemon. It's a cool way to introduce something new, but keep it familiar. Wow, that is sick. That is actually stunning. I don't know what this Pokemon is. It's kind of like a plant with two heads. Venus Flytrap heads. <laughs> Weird Pokemon. I think I can learn to like it, but wow, the artwork is stunning. That is actually stunning. Yeah, you guys will notice that there are not probably not going to be prices on any of these other than maybe like the biggest, like most recognizable hits. Mostly just opening this up to see what it's about, to see the vibe of the new EXs, get a look at them in person. Get a look at a lot of the new Pokemon cards like I'm really I'm just excited about it. There's a tentacle with legs. What? That is so weird. There is uh, the Cyclozar. I think that's the basic version of the Maridon and Coridon, correct? Or kind of like what looked like a basic version of the Coridon and Maridon. I could be wrong with that too, because the Coridon and the Maridon do not, they, they show as basic Pokemon in the EX form, so I don't know if it actually evolves into Coridon and Maridon or not. It might be totally different. Got a Primeape there and a basket of fruit. About halfway through this first box, we already do have the Secret Rare out of the way, but I'm, I'm still crossing my fingers for maybe a full art or a Secret Rare trainer. That's that's what I really, really want. That Miriam, man. Who wouldn't want a $500 trainer waifu, huh? Who wouldn't want that? Oh, there she is right there. The Miriam, just not the one we want. We're also two EXs deep, so we should get two more EXs. And I think we should get one more regular art rare. And there is the Super Teddy Bear. Don't know the name of that. That's the stage two Teddy Bear. Kind of looks like a Teddy Ursa, but a little bit friendlier. It's Teddy Ursa's cousin. Got a Squovet, another dog, new worm, and then basically nothing. A rare candy. And that Teddy Bear is everywhere. Whoa, that is pretty sick. Is this a regional variant? Uh, the Paldean Primate? That's pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if this is past form Primate, if this, or future form, it would be future. Future form Primate, if it's got a different name. Either way, that is absolutely insane. That looks pretty cool, I like the idea of variants. Got the slow poke to match the slow bro. Another Toxtricity, ooh, and a Blissey. Blissey EX would be cool. Is there a Blissey EX in this set? I don't remember, but Blissey EX would be really nice. Oh, we got the spider. There's a scyther. Looks like he's about to chop the little uh, the little web that's holding him up. I think this card has like another card that like sits above it that kind of finishes the artwork. But that is our third art rare. That's pretty cool. We got about 10 packs left still, too. So hopefully there's some hits in the last 10 packs. Got the little worm boy, another teddy bear and then an indeedy. Definitely would be curious to see your guys' thoughts on the new generation. Wow, we did get two secret rares. It's a candy of some sort, not the Miriam I was hoping for, but the gold is still pretty cool. The gold is still pretty cool. It's cool that you can get two secret rares in a box. That does make me happy. It makes up for the absolutely abysmal, <laughs> just full art secret rare. This box has to be done, right? We have a couple more EXs that we'll get, but that's about it. I think we're out of secret rares, though. I think we're out of art rares as well. There's the EX. It is the Binette. I love the psychic types. I think the psychic types just really pop in this EX format. So far, the best hit is still that that RK9. I can't believe we pulled that in the first pack of this box. It was hilarious. And there we go. Another spider. We just keep pulling this spider guy. I don't know what he is. Very strange looking Pokemon. You got to promote the new Pokemon. You got to promote the new things. So I get it. You know, make make new Pokemon hits. It's just that Pokemon is a really strange looking. I'll learn to like him. I'll learn to like him. I'm not just a straight up hater, but uh, still very strange. 
Just a few packs left. Surely we're out of hits. I think we got all four EXs. We got two secret rares. I think we got all three art rares. I'm assuming we're going to get dud packs here uh, for the rest of these, but you never know. Two packs left. Might have a broken box. There's that cactus. And the last pack of the box. Can we get one more hit? I just realized I put this Bennett in with my bulk. And no. Yep, exactly what I was expecting. So yeah, you can expect a handful of hollows, one, two, and three of the art rares in every single box. Four EXs, my favorite by far being the terrestrialized Arcanine. And then at least one secret rare, and every once in a while you'll get a bonus secret rare. So I can't be too upset about that. I did get one of my chase cards. I did get the RK9 in the set. So I'm super happy with that. But yeah, guys, let me know what you think about the Scarlet and Violet era, what you think about the first set in Japanese. Are you looking forward to the new set in English as well? Have a nice one, guys. We'll see you in the next video. But until then, peace out.